Go ahead and we'll start it. They're changing Kael Thassa's voice actor. The reason why they are changing it is interesting. I know what you're thinking. But Tempest Keep was merely a setback. I know what you're thinking. But Tempest Keep was merely a setback. Why are they changing the voice actor's name? Uh, did he make a bad tweet? Did, did he say something uh, that was politically incorrect? He got me too He got cancelled. Kael'thas voice actor found innocent in court. So this is the guy that voiced Kael'thas. And... So, oh, let me explain the context of this. Because some people might not know this. So basically what ended up happening... Uh, is that the guy that voiced Kale Thos was accused of different stuff like sexual harassment and just bad stuff like that. And it's merely a setback, yeah. Um, anyway, it turns out that it was. So basically, this guy had his life completely ruined. He was completely removed from Blizzard, and they had a completely different person do all of his voice lines instead of him. And now that he was found innocent, I think that it's... Uh, what do you guys think is going to happen at Blizzard? I, I think absolutely nothing is going to happen. I, I think literally nothing. I think this is an example. Like, this is an example of... Things like this are what create people that automatically assume that, like, women are liars. I don't think the people that, that are behind this understand how much of a negative force they are by doing this and this shoot first, ask questions later policy that they have, that they feel like they're doing this to help out people. They're not helping people out at all by doing this. Every single person watching this video right now, I'm assuming, is probably thinking to themselves, this is fucking bullshit. And every single time that somebody like this has their life ruined, before anything gets proven at all, every single time that happens, that makes everybody else more... Uh, what's the word for it? more skeptical, more reactively and reflexively thinking that these women are lying. And the reason for that is because they're empowered by their lies from these fucking morons who want to ruin somebody's life over it because they believe something without evidence. 14-year-old Chuds with SJW cancel culture. Every single one of them already view victim as potential liar and know his life hasn't been ruined. You are so... You are so wrong. You're calling everybody, like, this is not a 14-year-old Chud opinion. That is, you are just so incredibly wrong. Like, these types of things radicalize people. This is exactly what radicalizes people and makes them hate what they consider SJWs. Is because of this obvious fucking unfairness. Calling somebody a 14-year-old Chud or whatever. Listen, this guy, for the rest of his life, He's got to have on his resume, I got fired from Blizzard Entertainment because they thought that I was a sexual predator. And it doesn't matter what was in court. It matters what happened. And people are going to see that, and there are going to be a lot of people who look at that resume, and they don't hire him because they don't want to deal with it. It's a court of public opinion. This is not the court of public opinion. This is people in management and managerial positions abusing their managerial positions to make the company uh, less, less fair. It's completely unfair that that would happen. This absolutely is going to ruin his life. Absolutely. Like, can he recover from this? Yeah, sure, of course. But it's going to take a lot. And it's completely unfair that this happened. And I think Blizzard should issue some degree of a statement about this. It's the same thing with Swifty. Swifty got accused of something with no evidence. And in less than 24 hours, every single thing involving Swifty was immediately removed from the game. Blizzard did no research on this. They did, they did not look into this at all themselves. They just immediately did it. Uh, no evidence? Did you not read the accusations? Well, I mean, clearly it wasn't enough evidence for him to be guilty in, in court, right? So, yeah, not enough evidence. Like, I read accusations, and I can... There is a... So, th there's a big difference here. And I think that there are a lot of people that don't understand this. But there are a lot of ways that you can read something, and you can say, wow, this, like the Sinatra thing. I'll give you an example. I read the statement that Sinatra's girlfriend made... And it looked like Sinatra was a really bad guy. 
now his, you know, like, now there's more context to it. I don't want to remove him and ruin the guy's life based off of an accusation. Whenever things, whenever people are being accused of genuine real crimes, then they need to be handled in court. I don't like this, oh, well, this person did this thing on Twitter, and then the initial statement gets a million likes, everybody fucking hates the person, and then it turns out that they're not guilty later on, and it doesn't matter anymore because people don't care about it. People uh, take accusations as a fact, yeah. That Well, that's the thing, right? It's like, it, it, it comes from both sides. So what happens is that there are some guys that even if a girl presents a lot of evidence and even if a girl does get sexually harassed or like, uh, you know, touched or, or whatever uh, by a guy, guys will say that she was asking for it or that somehow it's her fault that it happened. And then from the other direction, you have a lot of guys who are sorry, a lot of not guys. It's not really a guy and a girl thing, but it's like a lot of other people who will automatically believe an accuser based off of principle and just ruin somebody's life because they feel like they're morally virtuous by doing so. Like Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is a good example. Same thing happened to T Tabiscus back in the day and it completely destroyed his career even though she was lying. Exactly. And that's why so many guys are... Because this is like, let's be honest, like this mostly happens to guys. Um, so many guys are like so defensive about this is because they see something like this happen and everybody thinks to themselves that could be me that could be me and what i hope that blizzard understands with this is the fact that them doing this actually sets it sets us back because you're now you're, you're not listening to uh you know logic or reason you're doing things based off of ideology and whenever the ideology trumps the reality, that's whenever you have a problem. It's more important for them to fulfill their ideology than for them to fulfill the truth. It bre yeah, this breeds incels. Like, Blizzard just created incels. And, and they didn't have to either. And I'll give you an example. Twitch. Remember whenever Twitch made the announcement and they said, oh, well... Now we're going to have an investigation team for like different accusations and stuff like that. You guys remember that, right? Twitch said very clearly and Ver and Tiger Team, no, this is another Tiger Team. This is the Lion Team. Um, Twitch said very explicitly that punishment will not occur until there is a verdict of some degree of certainty. And they will not shoot first and ask questions later because they don't have to. So to, to the idea that, like, this is necessary for them is completely ridiculous. Because Twitch doesn't do it. Probably addressing a court case, there's a lot of stuff that went on undocumented. Well, yeah, but if something's not documented, then I don't think that people should be held against, uh, they should be held, like, accountable for that shit. Like, of course not. Like, it's a matter of a pattern of behavior and the, the kind of person it is. Like, do you really think that... And this is the same thing that happened with Swifty. Because if it was circumstantial around this person, the same exact thing wouldn't have happened to a different person. It's clearly not based circumstantially. This is clearly based on an ideology, and that's what they're doing. Probably won't be rehired by Blizzard, but I love War of have voice actors, so I'm glad he got some justice. Well, he clearly didn't because he just lost his job and he got smeared in the entire industry. And the odds are other people like this won't rehire him because of this. If an incident was the accident, you have two choices, ignore the accusation or act on the accusation. On balance, it's more common that the accuser is telling the truth. It's a shitty choice, but you have to choose the path that results in less damage, which is to believe the accuser. See, I completely, like, I think this is such a terrible decision. And, like, what this is such a, a horrible mindset to have. Because this is not a path, like, there, there are no two options here. There's a third option where you just, yeah, like, there's a third choice. Acknowledge the accusation. Yeah, an, Accusations can be acknowledged and not believed at the same time. Hire a third party to investigate and act whenever the investigation has come to a conclusion. Yeah. Like, this is this is clearly what you should do. How long would a proper investigation take? So, because the, ac because the investigation takes a long time, we should just immediately fire the person and ruin their life. <laughs> That's the way these people think. It's incredible to me.
that like, oh my god, this person has a job, and I can't, oh my god, if this person works as a voice actor, they're gonna keep harassing people. What the fuck does that, it doesn't even make any sense. You don't understand the power of public position? He wasn't in a public position. And also, it doesn't matter, I, 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 I think that the power of a public position is extremely powerful. But what's even more powerful than that is the power of injustice. And injustice is a thousand times worse. People bowing down to online rage mobs. Now, this is exactly the same thing that I said the other day with the... It was the same thing I said the other day with the Path of Exile stuff. Where I thought Path of Exile made a mistake by feeding the beast. You never feed the beast. If you are right and you are doing the right thing that is morally just and is not wrong, never, ever, ever bow down. Never bow down. Never give in. Never give those people what they want. Because as soon as you start giving them what they want, they're going to ask for something else. Do you really think this is the first time that GGG is going to get shit on for something like that that's completely unsubstantiated and blown out of proportion? Absolutely not. And now the fact that they did it once, they're going to enable more of those things to happen. And here's what happens. Is that once you bow down to a witch hunt, you become a witch hunter. Once you do what they want, you become them. If you are doing and bowing down to unreasonable people and doing what they want, you then become unreasonable and you become an agent for that to continue happening and happen even more. I didn't say a witcher, I said a witch hunter, okay? Witchers are cool, witch hunters are assholes. Completely different. How is reputation destroyed whenever he can prove to anyone willing to give him a job that he was innocent? Because many people... <sighs> that's not how it works. Ask somebody who got put in jail for a felony if that's how it works. Yeah, I, I think that... Like, alright, let me just give you a very, very simple, a very, very simple thing. You have two applicants and they're both equal. One of them was accused of sexual harassment and one wasn't. Who are you going to hire? One of them was fired from a company and then proven innocent of sexual harassment went on. Who are you going to hire? You're going to hire the person with less baggage. If you excuse someone when he doesn't have the evidence, reputation isn't fixed after you're proven innocent. He's a dangerous man. It was proven. And Twitter, not in court. What a day. What a fucking day, man. Like, it, it's been... Like, how, how long has this been? It's been like a, a few days now. And we've had all of this shit happen. I'm a little bit worried, honestly. Like, this is... This is not looking good.